<laughs> Morning guys. Camped out last night with this guy. Good morning. Coming to steal your ducks. <laughs> From the road. <laughs> <laughs> and then Phil. Hey, hey. You guys have met him on freelance duck hunting. He's been on a couple hunts with Elliot. This is my first time with him. And, uh, we we're using his wooden decoys this morning and we we're going to pound some mallards over them. Yes, sir. Well, I went out yesterday and flipped my kayak. Didn't make much of Well, shoot. I just flipped my kayak and dunked myself. Thankfully, I was in shallow water. I was able to put my arm in the water and fall out of my kayak, but I'm pretty wet. So what happened is I was kayaking in and I noticed my sled was getting kind of low in the water and I had my gear bag sitting on front of the sled. And so I just pulled the sled around so it was next to me in the kayak because I was pulling it. And I reached back to grab the, the blind bag. That's when I just lost my balance. Thankfully everything, I don't think I lost anything, and thankfully I was close to the edge of this deep water because, I mean, I've just been kayaking in the deep water like no big deal. And uh, so it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. So Flip my kayak didn't do too much after that, but putting these, putting these bags in the feet of my waders because they're still a little damp on the inside. And it was pretty chilly this morning, so I want to have wet feet right away. Got some ice this morning. Just a little bit of ice here. We got to paddle through. Here are the prized decoys. I'm not sure I'm even allowed to touch them like I am right now. We are breaking ice this morning. Two cameras and Phil's doing all the work. Perfect. My third ice hole hunt of this week. Or at least third hunt where I'm having to break ice. And all three times it's worked pretty pretty well. I was a little worried Kelly was saying earlier, he was worried that this ice was going to be too thin to break easy, but it's working out really well so far. We're going to try and make a bigger hole than we need. That way it just looks more appetizing for the ducks. And it'll probably freeze up a little bit anyway before shooting light, so we want to make it bigger than we want to begin with. This is about as thin as eh, the thinnest ice was. Most of it was thicker than this. I'd say the big stuff was close to a quarter. How many hours does it take you to make one of these mallard decoys out of wood? Uh, I like to tell everybody I've been carving since 2012. Mm -hmm. So that's seven years and about 30 hours. <laughs> per decoy? Yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking. That's, uh... it's, it's a lot of trial and error. Yeah, sure. And Mostly error. But, uh, <laughs> sometimes you get one right. Yeah, sometimes I repaint one six times to get sure. it like I want it. And then I'm still not really satisfied. That was pretty cool when you shoot ducks over them. Yeah. I'm excited to shoot ducks over them today. It's very gratifying. Has anyone ever shot one of your decoys? I have. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, obliterated a pintail this year. Oh, dear. Anybody else would have felt really bad, so I'm glad it was me. Gotta say, I'm super thankful to be out with Elliot and Phil this morning. Been hunting by myself a lot, and it's really nice to get out with some friends. Nice. I didn't see this. 
just came out of nowhere, so I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Yeah, there was two of them. I was wondering where that second one went. There he is. I was watching this one over here. And I know. I just looked over and <laughs> there he was. I'm like, well, I said Phil could have the single, but. <laughs> Way to go, Ellie. He still feels bird, you jerk. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Elliot. Keep my dog. I told him he could have the single, and then I'm like, oh, he's looking the other way. I'll just be quiet and kill this yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that he wasn't looking. But. Yeah, I was watching the stuff over there. What do you have to say for yourself, stealing Phil's Look duck? Look over there. Look over there. Phil, there's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, Phil was looking over there. He was on my side. Yeah. Feels good to be on the board. At least one for one. We've had two ducks and the decoys that have been killable so far. I've killed half of them. Let the other one go because we we're trying to get that whole group. Next up, Phil. Hey. The shooting boys are moving back here. Uh, we had this last group flare. So we're not messing around. We're immediately moving back. We don't want to waste our opportunities today. Ellie, it's your man when it comes to getting covered. On the right, kind of high. <coughs> oh yeah, gotta do it. I kill him. Take him. Come on. Better get him. Sweet. Get on him. That's one. I think we gotta take that one. I'm glad you guys shot that one. Take that one. Yeah. I better get up and help him. We we're gonna go ahead and pull these spinners. We had a group of three working quite a while. They didn't quite commit. We had to take a little bit longer shot than we wanted to. Two drakes for us. Good job, Phil. So we are just struggling to land these birds. So we tried to pull the spinners. Which these days it seems like people think that that's the magic button that's pulling the spinners. And I can honestly say out of all the time I've pulled the spinners, I've never seen anything improve. This is what happens when you pull the mojo, guys. You don't see any ducks. Yeah, we pulled the mojo and it went from circling ducks to zero ducks. <laughs> Maybe they were seeing it from a ways and coming over. I don't know. It's about ready to go back up. Yeah. Every single time. In my love, there was one time that I felt like it helped. Every other time, the situation has got worse. I have had good hunts this year without the mojo, but I was already in a spot where, like, they wanted to be. You can certainly suit ducks with no mojo. Yeah. But the whole idea of pulling it and it's going to make the situation better, I just don't, ex that's not my experience. Jerk string casualty. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Sorry, I should help. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not helping. This is good funny. That's why jerk strings are jerks, man. I'm stuck on the thorns. <laughs> not stuck on that thorn. <laughs> not stuck on the one down there. <laughs> this you You're gonna eat. get smacked with a thorn. <laughs> We put the old Sammy the spinner back out. Saw ducks ASAP as soon as we put the spinner back out. So, and they were interested. You think they're seeing us? We got such good cover on top of us. The only time, yeah, they're gonna see us is when they get low enough. And I don't think they really got low enough. Gosh, I'm really getting frustrated. Yeah. yeah. They're doing everything except finishing, and I can't believe how quickly that group left. Yeah, it didn't take long. Was it they joined up with another group. We were renewing our spirits with soup. Also, we added about a dozen and a half decoys out on this backside in the smart weed. Put both the spinners back out. Gotta say, I'm pretty proud of this ice hole we made. It's all ice. That's pretty thick ice out there. And we've got a hole from there. All the way to here. I'd say that's a good 40 yard ice hole. Okay. I 
shot just so I can have the shot cam footage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey. Good job, man. Thank you. Decoy change worked, oh, man. Yeah. Bringing them in. We are massive. We're asshole. just smoking them now. <laughs> I was like, I was on him the whole way, and I'm like, if I shoot, I'll get this kill footage. <laughs> Pounded him. That's three for us. That decoy chain worked wonders. Yes, it did. I'm gonna have to leave here soon. I think Elliot and Phil are gonna stay a little bit longer. As soon as I leave, you know, the duck movement's gonna pick up. You guys are gonna pound him. There are some quality people there. I enjoyed hunting with them, so I gotta go. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see